Good afternoon, YouTubers. T Square here with T Square Talk. So, we got a package to open. The last package of the year. Um, the last video of the year. Tonight, we're not only going to be pa opening up a package, but we're going to be talking a little bit about silver and how 2021 went down and how I'm hoping 2022 is going to go down, but we will see. Only time will tell. Um,. I got to start by saying that Silver Wolverine, I always like to give credit where credit's due. Silver Wolverine said by the end of the year, he thought Silver would be back down to 20. Um, he was closer than the majority of us that pretty much all said 28, 29, 30, 35. Uh, one person said 50. Um, my guess, honestly, I was thinking 30 to 35. Um, I, I think there was some extreme manipulation this year. Um, I know some people will disagree with that. Um, it was, but it was a crazy year. Um, it was a crazy year in my opinion because literally every commodity went up except for gold and silver. Silver went down and not only did it go down, but it went down by 11%. Uh, that to me is just insane that we've seen that. And I, I believe it can't keep going down like this. And that's why I continue to put orders in. I, I've actually got two orders pending right now, um, but they won't be here until 2022. I'm guessing because um they have 2022 silver dollars and maybe there's maybe there's a hold i don't know um what's going on on those um this has a mix of stuff a lot of the stuff you've seen because i put in a lot of similar orders um but it's more about the talk tonight and i just figured i'd open it up and kind of talk about it um i i think there's right now there's a lot of frustration out there there's a lot of frustration out there saying that maybe we should boycott silver. Um, the premiums have just gotten too, too high and we keep paying them. So therefore we're pushing the price up. And to a certain point, I believe that is true. Um, but on the flip side, I've also got to say this, you know, when demand is high, you can't just blame, oh, it's our fault that we're buying. There's a reason we're buying. There's a reason the demand is high. Um, it's not just, in my opinion, speculation. It's not just hype. Um, it's also people are getting scared. How do you explain what happened this year? I mean, be real for a minute. How do you explain um, precious metals, specifically silver, going down by 11% when everything else went up with inflation? Everything. Um, I think next year is going to be a crazy year. I think we are going to see, uh, copper have a big, big jump. And, you know, one of the things I will be honest that I was thinking about today when I was sitting there, I'm kind of taking my time opening the package, um, is if copper goes up and the demand for copper goes up and silver is a byproduct of copper. Are we going to be pulling out a lot more silver of the ground next year? I mean, just think about that. That scares me. That kind of goes against what we're buying this stuff for. You know what I mean? So who knows uh, how this is going to play out? Uh, it does worry me. Um, I'll show you guys what I got, and then I'll keep talking here. Uh, this is an American Silver Eagle. This is kind of what all the talk is about right now are the premiums on these things just too high have they got out of control i mean i i've priced up i bought this package right here from universal coin and bullion uh from chris uh over at universal coin and bullion uh some people call him bull tide if you follow him on youtube um uh, but he is a sales representative for them and over the year we have become good friends we talk uh both on the channel and offline and his prices on these uh, beat everybody. They beat everybody. Uh, this American Silver Eagle right here cost me a whopping, a whopping whole $30 at the time of purchasing this. I purchased two of them. Um, now, at the time of purchasing this, I think silver was at 33 34 somewhere in between there. 
And, you know, I, I look at it like this. This has been a popular year for these, first of all. So with the, making the two different designs, I wanted to have plenty of them. Uh, I want to have enough that I can trade down the road. I think the demand on these will be extremely popular. Um, and I believe people will just want them. Uh, they're going to want to build the sets. They're going to want to have nice ones. It's a new design. And we'll see. Could I be wrong on that? Absolutely. Um, I was looking for which one the second one was. But on the flip side, yes, I did pay a $7 premium. And I'm going to explain why now. So this had the highest premium. The 7 and 7, we're talking $14 premium right there. Okay? So hold on a minute, though. We're going to keep going through this. I'm going to show you everything. And I'm going to tell you guys the premiums. And I'm going to tell you guys the prices. I'm going to jump down now to what has the lowest premiums, in my opinion. These right here. So the first one is the Trump, Donald Trump round. It's in a capsule. A capsule brings a little more value to it, in my opinion. And I know someone out there is going to be like, a capsule does not bring any value to a round. And you could be right. But I see a lot of collectors um, that understand that people buy with their eyes. They buy with their eyes. I didn't really pay attention to this until um, I started talking to a good friend of mine. And he said that to me. And I said, you know, you're right. When I put this next to one that's tarnished, a lot of people will prefer this one or this one or this one or one that's not tarnished. So people will buy with their eyes. It doesn't change the value of the silver. I understand that. But it also gives you back some of the premium. I actually see some YouTubers that buy these little capsules to put all of their silver in. Every ounce of silver they get, they're buying a capsule. Now, to me, I, I don't think I would pay 50 cents. Well, I say that, but I have bought capsules before. You know, so, but I, you know, am limited on what I put in there. I mean, you know, so right there, these capsules cost somebody money. So, but this right here was, at the time, remember I said that silver was roughly um, somewhere between right around 33 and 34. This Trump round right here was only $25.25. So let's say we're going to take the middle and we'll say $23.50. $23.50, $24.50. We're talking a $1.75 uh, premium on this. Minus a 50 cent capsule maybe. Now we're talking a dollar and a quarter premium. Yes, I understand they made money here. They made $14 off of those, but we're going to get to that in a minute. So now they just made probably another buck and a quarter. Now, keep in mind what other companies are selling these for. I mean, I can't find these anywhere for 30 bucks. So me, I'm going to keep stacking and I'm going to continue explaining why. So this is a buck and a quarter premium. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, what did I say? Well, yeah, it's technically a buck 75, but the caps I'll take off 50 cents for. The next two, also $25.24. So again, uh, we're talking about a buck 75 premium each one. Minus the capsules, we'll say a buck and a quarter premium a piece. Someone might disagree with me. Leave me a comment if you disagree with me, though. So right there, and then I'll show this one since this is also the same premium on this one. Another uh, buck 75. Ooh, I don't like when they open though like that, when they cut them in a way that they open. Only because they start tarnishing, and I don't like them tarnishing. I like them shiny. Um, so right there, you know, when you minus, well, this one here, we'll say on this one, I'll give it the full dollar seventy five because it don't have any kind of a, a, a capsule or anything extra. Um, and this was the same price as these other four right here. So right there, we're looking at a buck twenty five premium on each one. We're talking a five dollars over on this one right here. We've said already agreed that this is roughly, um, we'll say a thirteen dollar premium. Um, we said 14, seven and seven is 14 minus the capsules. We'll say 13. So that brings us up to a total of $18 premium. We're going to work our way back in a minute though. 
Uh, this one right here, you guys have seen me get these a lot. Um, I, I buy them just because they're pretty. Uh, they're the maple, the $5 maple. I always wonder why the same amount of silver for the uh, American Silver Eagle versus the Canadian, but yet the Canadian's worth five and the Eagle's only worth one. I always wonder that. If anybody has a theory on why that is, please let me know. Um, but what I really like about these, I like the design on the back. I just like the detail. It's four nines fine. A lot of people like them. I don't like that they milk spot sometimes. You got to get a few extra so you don't get the milk spots. But I've done really well with Universal Quinn and Bullion by not getting milk spot ones. So that's my thoughts on this. Now, this one was $26. So $26 for this, but you are buying a sovereign coin. Now, um, one of my buddies says, you know, obviously uh, I'll give you credit if you're buying a sovereign coin, whether it's a maple, an eagle, a panda, uh, it's going to have a little more of a premium and, and it's going to give you back a little bit more. Um, so with this one, you know, we'll say $2.50 premium. So now we're at roughly a $20 premium. And then I, I got a little freebie right here. Not really much, but I'm thankful for everything. I like everything. I know someone out there is going to be like, it's not silver. You're right. It's not silver. It is really cool. Who wouldn't want one of these? Um, I've got a few of them. Uh, I usually give them away to friends. I mean, they're they're just like a little neat little thing. Um, sometimes I'll give them away on the channel. Um, in fact, we got a giveaway coming up next month um, to start off the new year. So who knows? Maybe we'll throw in one of these. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Uh, it is a National Rifle Association coin. Uh, it is some kind of metal. Uh, I don't know what kind of metal. It's not silver, though, I, I don't believe. In fact, I would almost bet. Um, it just safety education, defending the Second Amendment, hunting and conservation, sporting law enforcement, supporting law enforcement. Um, and, you know, it's just a nice, neat little thing. You got to be honest. You know, someone out there would probably pay a couple dollars for one of these. So let's start working our way back. We've already established we've got roughly a $20 premium over here. Um, now, we'll minus two bucks for that. Now we're at an $18. Shipping, insurance, all that stuff, um, that all has fees associated with it. The company, you know, eats the shipping if you spend $100 or more. Uh, yes, a lot of companies do. They're able to do that because they understand they're going to make a little bit off of that. And essentially, you know, that's how they make their money. They've got to make money. They've got to pay someone to answer the phone. They've got to pay someone to do um, upkeep on the building, all the different fees. Um, so, you know, now we're, we're down to 18 bucks minus shipping. I'm going to go out on a limb and say this shipping on this probably cost $10 maybe. They made a whole $8. So when I hear people say, ah, oh, the premiums are just too high, maybe that's true if you're buying a, a large amount of them. But if you're buying like I buy, um, chasing the deals, I'm happy with that. I got all of this package right here for $186.95. This is something that I'm going to have for a long time. And here, I'm going to kind of try to put it in light so you guys can see it there. $186 for all that. You guys can be the judge. And let me know in the comments what you guys think. I, I love, I really do love Universal Coin and Bullion. But, you know, I, I see where people are coming from about, you know, thinking the premiums are getting too high. I don't look at it like that, though. Um, I look at an ounce of silver. $25 easy. Well, that would equal right here. That would equal 175 bucks. And yeah, I paid 186. So I paid $11 extra. Maybe that went to the shipping. Um, you know, you guys can be the judge of that. How, what you guys think on that. I think this year, I hate to say this because I really can't believe we didn't see silver go up to $30, um, break $30 this year. But I think we're going to see it happen next year, and I'm willing to bet on it. I really am willing because I, I believe we're going to see it. They can't keep this up forever. Right now, people are believing the promises. We talked about Turkey the other night. Um, they're promising to Turkey that 
the citizens of Turkey that their money will be safe and secure and the bank will not run away with your money. So it's, it's there. But at the end of the day, yeah, you'll have your money, but will it give you any buying power when prices and everything go up? I don't know where I'd want to put my money. Where else would I put my money if I didn't buy uh, a few coins a week? You know, I, I really don't even know. The stock market, yeah, the stock market's great if it, you know, the stock market doubles again this year, let's say. Let's say they, they push the stock market to a new high and it doubles. Let's say food costs triples. Well, did you really make out? No. You're in a worse spot than you were. So you guys can kind of be the judge. Let me know. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys again on T-Square Talk. I hope everybody has a happy new year, and hopefully 2022 is going to bring new highs with gold, new highs with silver. I see right now that China is stockpiling up on gold at the moment as we're speaking. Um, they are buying gold and Russia is too. And I think, uh, central banks are starting to eye gold. Um, and I just think, you know, we're going to see it. We're going to see some higher highs. If you guys are following the stories on what's going on, um, if everybody is looking at gold, it, we're going to see it start creeping up. And as it creeps up, uh, I don't think it's going to skyrocket overnight right off until people realize, wow, it just keeps going up. And then all the masses are going to want to try to buy some. And at that point, we're going to overshoot what I believe is fair market value. And then you'll have a very limited time possibly to sell some and make huge profits. Or you can sit and hold it and bank that the dollar is going to collapse. My plan is I'm going to keep some. I'm going to sell some. And I'm going to get some other stuff that I want. Maybe I won't even sell it. Maybe I'll trade it. I'm actually talking to someone right now that has, um, I think, five acres. It was either four or five acres um, of land out in the country. I told him I'm not really serious at pulling the trigger right now. But he's like, well, I bought it like eight years ago, and I'm willing to give you the deal that I paid. Um, so with that being said, who knows? I mean, you know, we'll see what happens and how it plays out. Um, but with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please, if you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Leave me a comment letting me know what you guys think about silver and gold this year. I love reading the long comments. So don't think, ah, oh, that's too long of a comment. I love reading y'all's thoughts and, uh, I hope to hear from you guys again. I can't wait to see you guys in the new year. Take care, everybody, and have a great year. And thank you for this stack, Universal Coin and Bullion. I will put their uh, information below, although they are closed until next week now. So come next week, uh, you can call them. I will put the information in the description below. Um, thanks for watching, everybody. Y'all have a great night.